What's up everyone? I got my glasses on today. My reading glasses, because I'm going to play and read a little bit. Let me do a love spin boom. Everybody get up right now. It is f -f 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 Friday. It is physical Friday. Maybe we should do some jumping jacks. Y'all want to do some jumping jacks? Ready? Let's do, what is today's day? I don't know, I got some, let's do 10 jumping jacks. Ready? Let's get physical, physical. I want to get physical. Let me hear your body talk. Your body talk and let me hear your body talk. Did you all do it? I'm drinking blueberry ginger kombucha. I was going to pop over that other kombucha and my phone might fall down. But if it does, I'll keep it going and I'll put it back up. You all, share this in every group that you're in right now. Pretty pleased with the cherry on top. I like going live on my Facebook personal just because I like playing like this. I could go over the page. Share it in your groups, y'all. We're going to talk about Ezekiel Bread. And um, I'm going to learn a lot. Hopefully, you all can teach me. A lot going on today. I'm just playing around. It's not that pretty outside today. So I've just been playing, doing some consultations, spreading the love. i got to show you all something really rad. Hey, and whoever's in our group, Ridiculously Raw Authentic, one of you all, pretty pleased with the cherry on top, definitely share that in our group. And you can share it in the other groups too. Check this out, y'all. I got a whole bunch of stuff from Amazon yesterday, and I did a rad video. I got some new headphones. I had those Beat headphones for my cardio for longer than a year, and they were 150 bucks, right? And they broke, probably because I was doing this type of stuff and wasn't really like uh, gentle with them. But I got these for $30, check these out. Senso, I got these for $30 and they're pretty much identical. They're waterproof, but you know what else they, they got me too? They put in here, they put a whole bunch of little uh, extra earbuds, right? Got those, and this I got like six earbuds, but it, they gave me this rad thing. Check this out, this is a magnet. So I have a pop widget on the back of all of my devices. I got like a bunch of devices, see? Y'all need to get one of these. If you want to know uh, where to get them, I'll give you the link. Hiya! See, you pop widgets, right? So you can put them wherever you want, or you can hold them like this, you know, like this. So I pop widgets on everything. Well, this has a little sticky dab do you thing, and you put it on the pop widget, and then you could put this on your car, on your air condition thing, and then you just go, hiya! Right? And then it's a super, super, super magnet. So this came for free with my headphones. So if you all want to get some headphones, um, I like to listen to podcasts in the shower. So I just put them on my ears. Cardio is really, really good with them. They're all Bluetooth. They work with uh, iPhone and Android. And you get up to eight hours, y'all, for 30 bucks. Again, I paid $150 for my Beats and uh, they broke. So I want to share that with you all. I'm having some Skittles, nature Skittles, nature Skittles. 45 people. Let's see if we can get 100 people in here, y'all. Let's see if we can get 100 people in here. Ready? I'm pretty good at that. This is so good. If y'all didn't see the video that I made in the group, the Amazon. So every day I'm going to make a, a video or two, like a fast-paced video or something funny. And I just share it in the group. Because I love our group so much and there's so much inspiration and so much healing going on rather than playing on the business page or the, 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 the Facebook page. I like to do it here or the group. And if you all see a really cool video that you think that could help and say, hey, Tom, that was one of your best videos, put it on the Facebook page and I will. But check it out. I got these. I got two bags of these. These are Terrasol raw walnuts. I've been eating them all day. Look. They're really, really good. See? I've been eating, so I've been eating these all day. So I cracked these open. They're real good. I think they're $8 a piece and you get uh, 16 ounces. It's a good brand. I, I bought the goji berries from here and I also got, um, I think, macadamia nuts from this uh, this brand. So. These are raw walnuts, halves, 
and pieces, okay? With exceptionally high quality nutrient profile, delicious flavor, and culinary versatility, walnuts may be one of nature's more perfect foods. I've been munching on them and uh, they were really, really good at first, but they kind of get, they're blank because they're raw. I'm really kind of an almond guy. I really like almonds. And I also have, check these out, you can make cheeses with all this type of stuff. I gotta show you something really cool. Look at this. So this is the second time I've got these Brazil nuts, right? These Brazil nuts are the bomb.com, right? They're from Now Real Foods. You can make cheeses out of these, but I wanna show you something so cool. So for Christmas, I just bought a whole bunch of stuff because Miss Lana and myself wrap in the kitchen and we always need to make recipes you know, for the meal plan and the 14 day optimal reset. These right here, look at, they're, they're a little bit uh, sweating. These are uh, macadamia nuts, and it's from the same brand as this, okay? Right? And Miss Lana was hiding these from me in the kitchen for a while. And as soon as I found them like three days ago, look how much I've eaten. So I've been going off on like nuts, right? But I like to experiment what works on, like what is my caca gonna look like if I eat too much nuts and seeds? You know, so I had a really big smoothie today. I've drank a lot of water. I was gonna drink some kombucha, but if you saw in the beginning, I always turn them over and then it explode like I did in that Christmas video. But these, I'm telling you, and I've, I've told, I've told Miss Lana this and she looks at me like I'm cray cray. But if you get macadamia nuts and you hadn't eaten macadamia nuts in a while, you know, I don't eat you know, any meat, I don't eat any dairy. You know, I'm about probably 90% raw right now. I have been eating um, a lot of, a lot of um, I've been warming up a lot of mushrooms and quinoa. Lately, I've been eating quinoa, um, some quinoa porridge in the morning, right? Or in the evening. So I'm about 90% raw right now, but no cheeses or anything like that unless we make the nut cheeses. But I'm telling you, and it, I, I think it's just me, but you know, they have a lot of vegan uh, products. And y'all, you if you've been watching me for the last year, I used to go through natural grocers like two or three times a week with my shopping cart and Iggy, and I used to buy, you know, thousands of dollars worth of products and review them. And there's a lot of vegan type-esque uh, milks, uh, you know, they've got like jackfruit meat, they've got, um, you know, cheeses, pizzas, all sorts of stuff that's vegan that doesn't have any dairy and stuff. But these, for some reason, and I don't know if it's me, it could be me, these right here, if, if I like, could trick myself, if I put my face in here, <sighs> I swear it has a little bit of a hint of Swiss cheese, y'all. It tastes a little bit like Swiss cheese. You know, I've been eating a lot of nuts. And thank you all so much. We got 69. I'm going to live to 169. If y'all watch my videos, right? I'm going to be levitating under a tree, completely naked. Maybe on Fridays, I'll have my bedazzled loincloth, and I'll be levitating and pissing and smelling like glitter at 169. Let's see if we can get 169 rock and rad stars in here right now. Come on. I'll do 169 love spin booms. And, and this video looks a little bit distorted because I don't have much room in here. But I can do love spin booms all day. Boom! I know you all felt that. Let's do it again. Remember, you burn 900 calories every love spin boom. You got to bring it from, me, from underneath. Ready? And I do not have a lot of room, but I'll do one more. Boom! Do you all feel that? I know I did. Okay. I might have peed a little on that one too. Just saying. You know what I'm finding out? I gave away, I gave away 95% of what I own. And even what I own now, I still maybe wear five shirts. And I wear the same pants if I'm wearing pants. And I had, I don't know, 60 pairs of pants. I wear the same pants if I'm wearing pants. Other than that, I'm just running around in my high performance chonies. And I do have a lot of chonies. I do like my chonies. I probably, I have this box where I gave away everything. It's a, it's a cardboard box, right? And it has a little divider. And I put all my chonies in there, I tightly rolled them up, and I tightly rolled all my socks up, and I think I have like 55 pairs of chonies, and chonies are underwear. You can never have enough underwear. So I didn't give any of my underwear or sell my underwear, but I wear the same pair of pants or I'm just naked or I'm just wearing shorts. 
I love rapping, y'all. Hi, Heidi. Tom, you are FK and rad. Let's see who's all in here. Y'all, share this video in the group. Or all groups. All groups. Here's the thing. I got so many surprises for y'all. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready for this? Now, I want you all to share this in food groups, addiction groups, depression groups, vaccination groups. It could be a paleo group. It could be uh, a Dr. Axe group. It could be um, uh, uh, a spiritual group. All the groups, y'all, because that's what our group is. It encompasses all of those groups, and I want to play with all of those groups. You know, because they have a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this. But if you're seeing over the last week, we've literally had over 600, 600 introductions in our group alone. And, um, you know, a lot of work got to that. You know, I think a big key was to closing our group because it's only 5% food. You know what I mean? Food is like a tool. Food is like a, um, food is like a tool. You know, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a prop. You know, but, um, you know, and, and it helped me heal, start started my healing process, but there's a lot of people that are in here, here not for food. You know, they're depressed. They're addicted to prescription drugs, okay? They're addicted to cigarettes. They're addicted to soda. You know what I'm saying? And so for somebody to ninja flip into our group and introduce themselves, especially if they have anxiety, and that's why I used to do my bubble bath meditation, y'all, because I fought anxiety. And I, I used to have anxiety so so hardcore. Um, you know, I don't go out and play in the public as much as I do, um, as much as I used to, but I can tell you my anxiety has decreased like a hundredfold. And I know my anxiety used to ninja flip me into gambling, you know, because I'd get anxiety and anxiety and I'd like want to go gamble. Or my anxiety would make me drink, you know, because drinking, I thought, oh, it, it, it mellowed me out. I could just keep drinking and it, I would just numb all of my pain. Right, and then numbing your pain, I would go sleep with people, all these women, and I wouldn't know who they are. So I had anxiety, I, you know, from a lot of childhood trauma, and I didn't have that self love, and so it created all those little addictions, right? And that's why I started doing the bubble bath meditation. And so um, we have a lot of people in our group, ridiculously authentic, that do have anxiety. And so if you you know, if you have anxiety, it's going to be really hard for you to introduce yourself, especially with a photo or a Facebook Live. Um, but I've been rapping with a lot of people that are introducing themselves. Like I said, over 600 individuals have introduced themselves over the last four or five days. Um, and I'm really, really excited that it's going to even get uh, more and more and more and more and more. Um, and as you can see, um, you know, some of the posts have uh, six, 700 likes on them, thousands of comments. And, uh, you know, we hit 44,000 today, 44,000 members. And um, I'm just really, really excited. And just think when we have 10 million, just think of the introductions then. Just think of all the beautiful people that you're going to uh, that you're gonna see. Like one of my funniest posts was, I forget her name, but she was cutting up some onions. And she had this, these big old goggles on, right? And she was cutting onions on. She was like, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was funny because that's the truth, right? When you're cutting onions, you get used to like shedding a tear a little bit. But uh, let's see, oh, so I got those walnuts. I got these, look. This is the second time I bought these. I've been playing with these for a while. I like to just eat them by themselves and chew them and chew them and chew them and it almost makes like a tomato soup. It really, really does. Um, I'm not all the way through uh, the first bag that I got, but I am realizing they're just too salty for me and that's before I bought this bag. They're really, really good, y'all. I like to put these in with a little bit of uh, what what sauce, that kimchi sauce. Let them soak. You could even throw this in. Um, you know, if you could put a, a little bit of um, uh, coconut oil, right, in a warm little skillet. Throw um, some portobello mushrooms in there. Throw a little bit of these in there, right, with a little Himalayan sea salt. You're good to go. But these are from Food to Life. These are um, basically organic sun-dried tomatoes. I wish they didn't put the salt in there. Um, just cause, and maybe I'm just too sensitive to salt right now, you know, but, uh, I would suggest give these a try. They're only seven bucks. Um, then I also got these hemp seeds, y'all. I've been really, really, um, uh, increasing my, my intake of the hemp seeds. I'll read the back of this for y'all. What I really like is the ingredients are organic hemp seeds. All right. You could, you can make uh, you know, the hemp milk with it. You could sprinkle it on some oatmeal, right? Or smoothies, soups, you could do it in uh, yogurt, teas, you could just eat them straight out of the bag. 
Uh, you can ground them into a meal. You can put them in uh, breads, muffins, cookies, just a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, I'll read it to you. HealthWorks hemp seeds are certified organic with an explanation point. Packed with potassium, vitamin E, magnesium, and an excellent source of essential fatty acids, including omega-3 and 6, this superfood will provide you with tons of natural energy when you add it to your favorite dishes or drinks. So true, y'all. So true. For me, I mean, and it really depends, you know, living at Lana's, I don't really have my, 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 my kitchen that I used to have uh, in Grand Forks. And so... I'm trying new things, you know, and she's such a sensei in there, but I, I don't have my own kitchen, so I try to wrap as much as I can in there. And I am trying, like, I've just eaten a bunch of, a bunch of nuts and seeds today and with a lot of um, hydration and just playing with that. But I have been taking a lot more hemp seeds, and for me, they are ideal for me. You know, they have those amino acids, you know, the protein or whatever. Hemp seeds, hemp seeds, hemp seeds. You could put hemp seeds in anything, like I just read. And, and for me, I can feel, like, it just makes me feel... Makes me feel fuller, not like in my tummy, but like more robust. You know, like more, just like more, a little bit more, a um, little bit more robust, and it def definitely has that um, that energy boost. Hemp seeds are vegan friendly, gluten free, and low carb option for the for the uh, unable, for the unable to tolerate nuts, gluten, lactose, or sugar. We source our hemp seeds for uh, from small organic farms where the seeds are grown and harvested sustainably to come to you in the purest, most nutrient-rich state. Healthy and delicious, add hemp seeds to your diet and reap the benefits. So, so true. Um, they have, um, I don't know if this brand is in Costco. I think it's a different brand. I, it starts with an H2. Um, I think that it's a better buy at Costco. I'm not sure the quality, but I know Costco, um, for the amount that you get at the price, um, is the best buy, uh, but for online, this is the best brand that I found. Let me know in the comment section because I've been, I, I'll be consuming hemp seeds um, probably for the rest of my life. Um, even when I get to Kauai, I just, you know, I just operate just so well on them. So this is from HealthWorks. Let me know if you all know of another brand. And I finally got some coconut water, or some coconut juice. I haven't had any of this since I've been here, and I've been here for four months. And this is Amy and Brian's. Not the most optimal, but it's only $33 and you get 24 cans. And I love this stuff. Um, I can go without it. Um, I can't wait till I have my coconut trees uh, in Kauai because, oh, I mean, I'll be drinking, I'll, I be, I'll be drinking like three or four of those a day with the coconut meat and the coconut yogurts. Um, but this is definitely more of like a treat now uh, and a dessert. And uh, you can order that on Amazon as well. So I'm going to talk about Ezekiel bread. I'm going to rap about that. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Laura. I have a very, very special guest tomorrow, y'all. You do not want to miss it. Um, I have not rapped with this individual yet. Um, this person came up on my screen, and I was like, wow, I have to rap with you. And I'm very excited. So I'm going to be collaborating with a lot of people. I'm going to try to do two or three collabs a week. And for me... Um, that's for me to get inspired by these individuals, to learn from these individuals, and also to introduce these beautiful people to all of you beautiful people because I have that talent. Um, so, hello Kelly, hello Kelly, hello Monica. I think, uh, let's see, Monica, Monica, hemp, hemp, hooray. Let's see, if this falls, I will catch it. Just shared the poop out of this. Heidi, I love you. I love you. Also, tag your friends, tag your family members, tag anybody um, that is a rock and rad star that uh, you believe will benefit from this video, from this energy. It really is. Uh, I kind of, you know, when I'm in this space, I hear all of these trendy words, you know, and I have this marketing group. If you all want in, send me an informa uh, your information. We're going to start that February 1st. But I see all these, these, these words, y'all, like holding space, and I was going to use the word collective, but I don't, you know, I like to kind of make up my own words, like, like I made that up when something's really good, you're like, wow, that's delish. I just go, and you got to get it, you got to get up in there, like, look, look, when something's good, just go like this and go, guadamotse. and then babufa, right? You get babufa as a F-A-R-T, I don't really like that word, F-A-R-T. I don't like the word H-A-T-E either, but this is, this is just a rock and rad star community and uh, it's changing lives. It's changing lives and I know every single one of you feel it. 
Um, and I know maybe you are not participating as much, and that's okay. Um, but now that we've closed it, it is growing and growing and growing. Remember, before I start rapping about uh, the Ezekiel bread, we're going to learn about that, is that we are giving away our seventh uh, Ninja Blender, okay? And we're going to do that Valentine's Day, all right? So if you have not entered, um, you better enter. You just got to go over to um, uh, the group, all right? You got to like our, our Facebook page. You got to go subscribe to our YouTube, introduce yourself. Um, and then, um, if you want, I dare you to add 200 people. I really want to get this group by the end of this month to 50,000. So if we can get 6,000 more Rock and Rad Stars, I will be really, really happy. And if we can do that, that means I get to go outside with Buddy and literally play. Remember those rad videos I used to make with my GoPro and run outside? You know, and I, that's when I fell in love with the sun right and I was just like outside I'm just not outside as much it's just because I really care about this community and you know I'm getting thousands of messages a day now and it takes a lot of work you know you could call me an admin you can call me or whatever you know and then I have my other work and then I got to do all these messages and I do this this so it's a lot but once I hit 50,000 I made a promise to myself that uh, you know I'm not going away I'm not going away but I'm definitely gonna go outside and get these baby legs you know pumped up a little bit because these baby legs you know, I don't like having baby legs. So I gotta do some squats. I gotta go do like some cartwheels, and I can still do a front handspring. You know, and I gotta get this bootylicious, uh, bootylicious booty back. So, please let me go outside and play. I feel like I've been in the principal's office for a while. So help me add all your friends, y'all. I think now that we've closed it, and people, you know, when I first built this, people were skeptic. And I kept saying, yo, I'm going to build a group, I'm going to build a group, I'm going to build a group, I'm going to build a group. And people are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I get, like, they call it community fall off, or people, like, come, they go, and maybe they're not ready or whatever. But now you all can see this is, this is, this is big. And um, if you can see, your whole, probably, <laughs> your whole Facebook feed is just, you know, uh, full of inspiration and motivation. And uh, Facebook Armageddon happened, but it hasn't happened. And you all will know when it happens. I put so much work into this where you're just gonna see beautiful story after beautiful story after beautiful story. And I'm going to start collabing with a lot of people that are, I guess, um, internet famous or uh, influencers, or whatever you wanna call them. I just like to rap. So you all are gonna see them like on this little split screen. You'll be like, what, what? Tom's hanging out with them? What? Like, double duh? So here we go. Let's talk about Ezekiel Bread, okay? I can see, I can see, I can see. So, my thing with bread, y'all, I've given up eggs, I've given up dairy, I've given up meat. I did have a pastrami sandwich three weeks ago, and a lot of people wouldn't admit that if they were a raw foodist. They'd, they'd, they'd probably they'd eat a whole bunch of pastrami sandwiches and just in the closet, and they'd never tell you that in 20 years from now. They'd be like, oh, well, I'm still 100% raw food. Anyways. So, I haven't had bread since uh, North Dakota. I think Lana did bring home something one time that was uh, a bread, and I ate half of that or whatever. Um, I, I, I still love bread, like real, real good bread. Um, but I used to like the Ezekiel bread and I would only buy it when it's on sale at uh, Natural Grocers. The best, I think I would get it for like $5.45 and it was always the purple one or the orange one. And that was my go-to when I wanted a snack. You know, I would just throw it in the toaster, right? Throw some almond butter, some honey, maybe some agave, some cinnamon, maybe some bananas, and done with it. And I would probably do that, you know, two or three times, four times um, a week. And then I started doing uh, sweet potatoes, right? And that's in the meal plan. You do sweet potato uh, toast, right? You get real, real thin sweet potatoes, and you put them in the toaster. Wada! They come out, and you just spread a whole good, rad little dose of uh, almond butter on there with like some honey, and for people that don't like honey, you could do um, agave, you could do maple syrup, so good. So, um, I know as a kid, I used to love the Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread was the bomb diggity, and uh, in my opinion, again, I don't know anything, you don't know anything either, nobody knows anything. Well, I learned so much from this whole space because a lot of people think they know everything, and a lot of people think that they're a fat, like, I don't know, I don't know anything. I know, I know, I do, I do, I, do, I know a few things, I'll tell you what I know. I know that I love myself. I know that the only way for myself to start my optimal reset was to harvest that self-love and to truly, truly, truly learn to heal and harvest that self-love. That is my truth, that is my truth. Um, so that is what I know. But all of these facts about nutrition and diet, we're all wrong. What if we're all wrong? What if we're in this fourth dimension? It's like I'm holding all these stones and these incense and learning all this stuff. I don't think anybody's right and anybody's wrong. So that's why I think this group is so rad 
because if you're stating an opinion, literally write, in my opinion, dot, 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 and then tell us what you think. You know what I mean? You might be wrong, but if you think it's right, don't, but don't get upset. That's the thing. Don't get upset. Some people email you. They're like, well, this said, this said. So I used to be in the principal's office, y'all. I was in the principal's office. No, no, no. I, look, I got expelled, right, from uh, ninth grade, and I um, ditched 54 days in a row, y'all. But even in junior high, I was in the principal's office. Even in uh, elementary, my uh, principal's office was Mr. Benitez. Uh, he was this Hispanic guy. Really, really cool guy. He had that 80s mustache, that real 80s mustache, right? And uh, he liked me, but he did not like me in his office. And I was always in his office, y'all. And now, with this group, unfortunately, I feel like I'm kind of the principal. Principal. And it's like, uh, like Mr. Belvedere or something. Like, I don't, it's, so what I'm trying to say is, state what you believe is, is your truth, right? And if somebody disagrees or if somebody calls your name, just go, boop, boop, and just mute them. Because you know what? They're probably wrong, boop, boop, and you're probably wrong too, boop, boop, right? And who, who's to say who's right? I mean, I've been listening to a lot of people lately. I actually just listened to uh, Gabriel Cousins. Um, and, uh, you know, trying to, you know, just, you know, trying to learn from him. Um, you know, um, I've been, uh, I just purchased, um, uh, Daniel, uh, what's his name over at, uh, the raw bras. I purchased his audio book. I want to read that or listen to that. Um, I, I, I try to get so much different stuff and I, and I learn online and of course, Dan, the man, he's kind of disappeared. Right. So a lot of people, um, that I used to, you know, learn from kind of like, leave the scene and then you kind of learn from a lot of people, but I learned from Miss Lana. And more importantly, here's the thing, as I learn from every single one of you, every single one of you, and after I'm done reading this book, uh, this, uh, this article about bread, I'm going to, I'm going to read you some stuff of just introductions and topics. And, uh, you know, I learn so much and I'll be like, and if I think it's wrong, you know, I can offer my opinion, but that doesn't mean I'm right. And so, for example, there might be, you know, billions of people, um, you know, that could, have, that could live on a meat diet and just eat meat all day, every day. And they don't even need one fruit, one vegetable. You know, that's like, hey, wow, you're living to 169 too. Cool. High five. Well, check this out. This is what I do. You know what I mean? Uh, so that was definitely a tangent. But uh, <laughs> I could see, though. I could see. I could see. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going. I feel like I repeat myself uh, a lot, but um, I'm trying to do a lot. And uh, I'm having fun doing it. So, here we go. Are y'all ready for this? All right. What is the difference between regular bread and Ezekiel bread? Here we go. Have you seen the famous Oprah commercial where she basically just proclaims to the world her deep love for bread? Well, turns out I have a lot in common with her. And this is written by Susie Cohen uh, on Healthier, or no, Spoon University. Spoon University, which is really, really cool. And she says, uh, it's my favorite pastime, whether it's baking it at home with family, eating it out of basket before dinner, arrives at a restaurant, or slathering almond butter all over it for breakfast. It's versatile, quick, easy, and definitely sustains me for hours. That's true. You know, when I used to eat bread, especially the Ezekiel bread, especially warm, oh, what I used to do is that carry gold, that carry gold butter, right? Ooh, straight out of the toaster, y'all, and just put a whole bunch of that on there. And you could have two slices of bread with some water and, and it kind of sustains you, you know, it fills your tummy. So she says, when I think of bread, I think of food that has been around for ages and has uh, continuously kept uh, our, our, our growing population stimulated, stimulated, nourished, and satiated. And as I read this, y'all, in the comments section, what is your favorite bread? Do you eat bread? Do you not eat bread? How does your tummy work? Um, you know, do you have maybe a certain disease? Do you have IBS? Do you have... Um, Fabler Mamija, do you have whatever it is? There's a lot of stuff associated with the high amounts of sugar in the bread and a higher amount of wheat in the bread. And so, you know, there's a lot of popular like David Dave's Killer Bread. They've got the Ezekiel Bread. Um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of different breads out there. And I want you all right now in the comment section uh, to rap about that. You know, do you eat bread? Do you eat the Wonder Bread? Do you put uh, do you put a piece of bologna? What I used to do, I used to put a piece of bologna like two pieces of bologna, right? And a piece of cheese. And I used to put it in the microwave in 1986. And I'd put it for like 20, 23 seconds. And then when it started curling, 
it would, then I'd be like, it'd be good to go, and it'd start sizzling around the side. Then I'd get a piece of white bread, I'd put it on there, then I'd get some little mayonnaise, right, and then put it on there, and I would flatten it. I would flatten it, so the mayonnaise, and sometimes I'd put a little uh, mustard on there too, and then I would cut it in four, and I'd have like little squares, and it was always Wonder Bread. So, uh, let's see, let's just keep going. Uh, uh, it's considered one of the greatest sources of carbohydrates thereby making a perfect fuel for our bodies since all of our cells run on glucose. Okay, remember, this is her opinion, this is her article. However, not all breads are made equal. And while I do enjoy eating a delicious white French baguette stuffed with creamy avocado from time to time, that sounds so good, because I'm a firm believer that all foods fit and there's no such thing as bad foods, interesting, I'm at uh, I absolutely love the energy I get in the mornings when I accompany my meal with a hearty slice of Ezekiel bread. Now, avocado toast used to be my go-to, y'all. I went like a couple months with avocado toast at least three or four times a week. Again, pop it out. I used to do it. I used to pop it out of the toaster and I'd just have avocado and I would use Primal Kitchen mayo, right? It's an avocado mayo, but I find out it had a bunch of oil in it and stuff and it had eggs in it too which is fine, I just don't wrap like that anymore. And I would mix that in the avocado, right? And put some salt, Himalayan sea salt, and I would just lather that on the Ezekiel bread. So good. So, he's, so she says, let's get down to the last grain. She says, traditional yeast bread that is found in most places is usually made from white flour, yeast, salt, water, oil, and maybe sugar and eggs. That's a lot of stuff, okay? I have found myself, that is so much stuff right there in for bread, right? So your body, like, like, look, so you know you just got tomatoes right there, right? And I've had to learn this over the last 14 months. So I've just got a tomato, and I can eat all of these, and that, that'd be like a meal, right? Now, you think you're just going to eat bread, and you've got flour, yeast, salt, water, oil, what kind of oil is in there? Then they got preservatives, they've got colorants, they got addictive little stuff in there. Sugar and eggs. The flour that is used is made using only, it says idiosperm, I don't know what that means. Part of the wheat kernel, the inner part, which is merely starch and a bit of protein. The other parts of the wheat kernel, the bran and the germ are removed, taking, taking with them loads of fiber, fat, minerals, and vitamins. Fun fact. This is why most white breads will be enriched with B vitamins and minerals, uh, thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin. I know what niacin is. I used to take uh, niacin pills before I'd go to bed, and I'd take a lot of them, and I would get flushed out. And uh, I, I practiced with that, and I played with that for about two weeks. You all should try that. Or maybe, remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm just, a, a, I believe, a rad dad with a, a beautiful daughter, Jordan, and a dog buddy and a troll named Iggy. So... What I did is I tried to get these real high uh, milligram niacin. I would take them right before I would do these uh, these curls. And within like 15 minutes, my whole body would just get into this flush and sweat. And it felt really, really good. But um, it says niacin in there. It says, because they're removed in the milling process. And it has uh, these two, this picture of this delicious, you know, those. You, when you go to the store, they have those Hawaiian rolls. Do you know how good those are? Give me some hearts if you all know what I'm talking about. I forget what they're called. They're like this big, and it looks like a little cake, and you get like 12 rolls, and they got like some powder on them, and they're like an orange thing. I think they're called Hawaiian rolls. OMG, you put those in the toaster with some Kerrygold butter. Oh, with some honey. Oh, so good. I could eat like eight of those. All right, here we go. Combine this with flour that is void of fiber with yeast, salt, water, and sugar, and we get a vehicle that sets our blood glucose up for a ride. Without the fiber, the bread will be digested quickly and our blood sugar will rise. Later to go down and leave us with a, a sluggish feeling. That's so true. I, I've had that many, many times. We're, we're all, where all we do is end up eating more sugar to try and get ourselves out of that weakness. In fact, French bread's glycemic index is way up there at 95. In short, that means it gets digested way fast and raises our blood glu glucose a lot. All right, y'all. Y'all still with me? Heidi says, just shared the poop out of this. Oh, that was a little long. Let's see. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Lots and lots of people. Hello, 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 hello. Keep sharing it in your groups, y'all. Keep sharing it in your groups. Hawaiian rolls are amazing and delicious. Ashley Bray. Hello, Ashley. Let me give a quick shout out to Ashley. Ashley, you and I have been Facebook friends, I think, maybe off and on for seven months. And, uh, you know, when I first started this Facebook Live, I literally would go live. I was nervous. And I, I think the first Facebook Live I did, I got like eight views. And like the first 20 lives that I got, I got less than 20 views, y'all. And uh, like no comments and you're sitting there and I would do like 30 minute videos. And I know how difficult it is when you first try. But uh, over the last seven, eight months, I always see Ashley. She's always going live. She, and I, and she just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Um, I'm not really specific what your business is. I know that you do sell beautiful jewelry and necklaces. Um, if you do not friend and follow and support Ashley, do that now. I'm not sure if it's an MLM. You all know my um, my advice and my personal uh, beliefs on MLMs, and that's why there's no MLMs allowed in the group. But Ashley, I see you. I feel you. Um, keep going live. I see that you're passionate about your jewelry, and uh, don't let anybody tell you different. Just keep going live. Keep going live. Keep going live, and show your passion and keep showing up. And uh, you know. I Thomas promise you things things will get better and uh, you know even if this is a good experience maybe you ninja flip into another MLM or maybe you quit that and maybe you design your own jewelry right and you brand yourself right it would be fun so uh, y'all uh, it's nice to see you Ashley uh, in the video and playing and participating hello Kelk hello Rebecca uh, Stephanie nice Greek name so here we go Ezekiel bread y'all so if white bread is made from just an endosperm that means the whole grain, whole wheat bread is made using the entire kernel, the bran, the endosperm, and the germ. This obviously makes for a heartier bread that gives us more nutrition and keeps us fuller for longer due to its high fiber content. Now, I believe the purple, the purple packaging in the Ezekiel bread that's always frozen, I believe it's sprouted. And that was the one I used to like. But again, I would never buy it unless it was on sale because those Ezekiel bread, that, that bran, I think they have like eight flavors and I've done a lot of reviews on them. They can get all the way up to eight to nine dollars, right? Um, you know, and you know, that's kind of pricey. I mean, if you, if, if you got kids and you're sending them to school, you know, with sandwiches and stuff, you know, you got to clip in the fridge and you know, all that stuff that can get really, really expensive. Um, but the one that I liked was sprouted. Um, that is a huge thing. Sprouted everything, mung bean, sprouted, you know, sprout your nuts and seeds. Um, sprout, sprout, spray, sprout all day, every day. Um, I haven't really got to play that much in the kitchen since I've been here. Um, but once you create that habit of sprouting everything, it's a healthy habit that you'll just get used to and it'll just be a habit. Okay, so here we go. Baking with whole wheat flour takes some practice. Since the flour tends to be denser and the product ends up being much coarser than regular bread, but it's so worth it. I love the nutty taste and luscious flavors of slice of whole wheat bread and totally recommend it with avocado. What don't I recommend with avocado? Do you, have you, give me some hearts. If you all have seen the bread, Roman meal. It's, a, it's in a see-through transparent orange uh, wrapping and it has this Roman guy on there. That's the only bread my father purchased like in the 90s. That's all he bought. And you know what I would do? And I have, and this just came to me. Uh, my next door neighbor, uh, Scotty Bob, his name is Scott Ferris. He had like a mom, he had like a, like a normal family or whatever. Maybe it wasn't around, I, I thought it was like the best family in the world and our next door neighbors. And he always had like the cool food, man. Always had the cool food. And uh, I think we'd watch Dennis the Menace and the Brady Bunch and then we'd meet like at 4.30 at the fence, right? Like, all right, 4.30, Scotty Bob. And, and, and he would bring like his cool food and I'd bring my cool food. And a lot of times, if you all watch my videos, you know, I, I, my childhood was a little bit... Uh, off and on, I was a little bit neglected. There's some good things, but anyways, uh, I would, I would sometimes I would only have Roman meal, Roman meal bread, and what I would do, I'd have like four pieces, and I would take the crust off, all four edges, and then I would do is I'd take that piece of bread and I'd roll it up into a ball, and I've not told this story because I forgot it, but now it all makes sense. I would roll it up to a ball, and it would be like a sweet little donut. That makes sense because of all that sugar that was in there. So I would go, I'd have four pieces of bread take it off, I would roll it into a ball, and I'd have these four little balls, and that's all I had to trade to Scott. You know, he had like the fruit roll-ups, you know, he had the sunflower seeds. I always had the soda though, that's one thing. 
unfortunately my dad would always buy you know i mean i loved it then but i'd have a two liter of mountain dew i used to run around the neighborhood and i always was rocking like a two th two liter of mountain dew i'd always be down the street with my basketball and mountain dew but uh that makes sense though because of all the sugar that was in there i would just roll it up to a ball and they'd be like delicious little donuts uh let's see let's see so she says however the food industry the food industry might be a bit secretive when it comes to whole wheat bread most breads that you find at the supermarket today are labeled as whole grain are usually made with a mix of wheat and whole wheat flour for that same reason as mentioned above baking with only whole wheat flour is not everyone's cup of tea in addition high fructose corn syrup trends to squeeze itself into the ingredient list which is disgusting along with oils and additives that don't really that we really don't want to be eating all the time or at all in my opinion it's hard to find one that's a hundred percent whole wheat these days and that's why i'm absolutely fascinated by ezekiel bread uh doo -doo -doo. this is a really long article let's just see i mean she breaks it down y'all she breaks it down she breaks it down um Basically, uh, I don't eat anymore, but if I was to eat uh, bread, y'all, it would be that Ezekiel brand. Again, I like the orange one, and I like the sprouted one that was in the purple wrapper. And you can always find it if, you're, if your grocery store has it. It's always going to be in the freezer uh, section. So, now that we're done there, hello, Laura. I go through phases, uh, laugh out loud. Just recently checked out the tamale phase and went through laugh out loud jackfruit tamales. Those look delicious. Um, I grew up with all Hispanics and gangbangers, and I love tamales. Love, 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 love tamales. They're all wrapped up, right? Little wrapped up things. And uh, I'm going to have to try your recipe, Laura, because those look delicious. And I know you kind of segued uh, away uh, those tamales um, from the jackfruit tacos on the meal plan. So that's what's really rad about recipes, y'all. Recipes are just a template, just for you to play with. Uh, if you don't have a certain ingredient in a recipe, it's all good. Throw some in there or, or don't use the recipe at all. All right, so um, I'm going to read a couple things here in the group. Again, let's please, 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 the cherry on top. Love spin, boom. Boom. Let's try to get the group to 50,000 by Sunday, y'all. We have we hit 44,000 today. Look it. You all know. You all can all see now. You can still be skeptic of me, all right? My vision, my motives, all right? Everything is pure. This group is yours, all right? It's not mine. It's yours. And it literally is healing Thousands of people of whatever is out there that is in the disease. It's starting their healing process where they can feel comfortable even just to make a post. All right So here we go. Uh, I think a good source of therapy is dot 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 and let's 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 read these comments uh, Singing at the gym loving yourself. That's huge uh, Range time that must be a gun or I was a golf pro. I used to love going to the golf range y'all um, being away from humans, she might suffer from uh, anxiety. Uh, the ocean, herbal. Uh, Kristen Johnson, uh, she, she's over in Phoenix, Arizona. She says, a bath, taking a walk, reading a good book, cuddling with my pets. Chris says, sitting quietly by the Mississippi River at night or talking to my best friend. Uh, Alex says, true intimacy. I love this stuff, y'all. Uh, I mean, if, if you don't have, you know, a circle of friends, even if it's a, if it's a toxic circle of friends or a health, whatever circle of friends that you have, if you don't feel like you can truly be your true authentic self, this group is for you. I'm telling you, you don't ever have to meet any of these rock and rad stars, okay? If you're going through something, if somebody's putting you down, or if you're going through some financial issues and you maybe need, uh, you know, some, uh, some support there. You know, meaning, hey, maybe uh, some, maybe there's an accountant in there that can help you out, give you some tips there. The, at, this group is for everyone as long as you're kind. And I'm telling you, I get thousands of messages and they are so thankful that we've created this group because, you know, like Friday night, what if, what if you don't want to go outside and go smoke cigarettes and, you know, uh, go do drugs or go to the casino and you want to just, you know, you know, find some other people. This thing is going to get so big that you're going to be able to find local people, right? And then you all can meet up and do recipes, meet up and, um, you know, Go, go do yoga, met up, do meditation, whatever it is. I can't wait till the first Rock and Rad Star couples, right? Or uh, whatever it is, like they find like their partner and stuff. They start like macking on each other and they find like their, their partner and uh, maybe have a beautiful child or whatever. That's how big this is going to get. So uh, add all of your friends, pretty please, with a cherry on top. All of them. You know, a lot of people used to get upset with me when I asked them, 
you know, one out of a thousand people get upset, y'all. That's why this group is different. If you change one person's life, if your aunt is struggling with breast cancer and we make a breast cancer poll, something about a natural remedy or whatever it is, or maybe, um, you know, uh, um, someone recommends a doctor, right? A certain doctor or a certain uh, health worker or whatever, and, and your aunt sees that in the group, right? And you didn't invite her to the group because you thought one person was going to be upset with you. Hey, you know what I mean? That, then, you know, it doesn't matter what people think about you. Let people get upset with you, you know? That's what this group is here to, uh, to engage and to, and to find people. Oh, Miss Lana's here. Let's get Miss Lana in here. Uh, so let's just keep going. Miss Lana's in here. This is fun. But he's going to start barking. I want to do one more. I want to I go over some intros. Y'all want to see Miss Lana come in here? Give me some hearts for y'all at Miss Lana in here. Oh, here's something. Check this out. So this is, I love this. This is, uh, this is Ree Brown. And uh, she joined the 12-week meal plan. She just posted a photo. I love it. She said, downloaded the meal plan. What, what, boom. Love spin boom for you. Boom. She says, don't say you can't afford it. Say, how can I not afford it? I love that. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And just the meal plan w will be huge for you. Or, you know, watching a meditation video will be huge for you. Doing a yoga, learning to treat yourself better and creating those healthy boundaries and be like, hey, I can't chill with you no more. Sorry about that. You know, I'm not, I'm not worrying about the past. I'm not, I'm becoming, you know, a better person. All, there's so many tools in this group um, that can help you. So good on you, Ree. I'm so glad she's got the picture of the rad meal plan. Love it, love it, love it. Let's keep going. Uh, here's Yashi Rose Culver. She puts a photo of herself. She says, here's my rad raw selfie. Show me yours. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, here we go. Um, can anyone, can anyone, I, uh, we posted this. Can anyone suggest a rad Netflix show to watch? Ready, set, go. Um, I ain't got time for Netflix, y'all. Every, every bit of ounce of energy is into this group. Um, I know for Netflix, I used to watch Peaky Blinders. was amazing. I know season three is out. Um, what else did I, I used to love? Um, House of Cards. Y'all know that got canceled because of uh, Kevin Spacey and his uh, uh, irresponsible activities. Come on. Good boy. Stay there. Let's invite Miss Lana in. Hi. hi. I'm live. Do you want to come say hi? Come on, buddy. Good boy. You got my little buddy saying hi. You missed me today. He's being careful, so he's jumping up at me. So go say hi. Hi, y'all. What's up, no. What, what, what's up? <laughs> so tell them where you just came from. Looky, looky. Oh, it just tagged her. Talk about technology. It said, hi, Miss Lana, because of her face, right? Mm-hmm. So tell them where you just came from. Yoga Village in Clearwater. And what are you I'll doing And sides. what are you doing there? I wasn't doing the Beyond Addiction program. Oh. You might want to open this. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, goodies and... and, and Somebody's got mail. We say we got mail. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave this show for Miss Lana. Why don't you wrap for 10 minutes? Give me this. Uh, say hello. Uh, we hit 44,000 members today. I need water. I'll get you water. He's gonna go get my bottle of water that's in the refer in the in the. I'll you know just where use this for now. There you go. You know where I put it. Yep. So hey, hi Laura. Who else in the house? Is that Kelly? I see popping up. See all those hearts and the love. So, yes, it's been a very long day. I've had some serious epiphanies. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know if, what y'all are doing later. I was going to do something in the kitchen. We, I don't know if that's going to be... Maybe you'll ha have to tune in for that one. Do y'all want to see Lana live in the kitchen tonight? What do we got going? What can we... Make? I got some goodies I wanted to make up anyway. So, it's between... Okay, if you want to see me go live in the kitchen, give me some hearts. I, I want to share some really powerful stuff that came up for me today. Um, yeah, put, put that eyebrow up, baby. Ooh. Now I don't have to read. What, what? <laughs> oh. oh, I thought you were going to get my one. Carry on, just carry on. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so here's a dealio, yo, yo. You know, how I go. 
I've got the walnuts. So I was thinking I could make up the walnut um, taco meat. Then I've also got some mac nuts that I was thinking to make up some sour cream or actually a cheese with it because I like to play with macadamia nuts are one of my favorite nuts to use for cheeses along with the Brazil nuts too. So it's a toss up. And then I kind of been craving sweets. Has anybody else had the sweet tooth thing come up? So here's one of the things that came up this. Yeah, I know you have. <laughs> Did the dates come? Carry on. I can't tell my surprises. Carry on. Don't get sidetracked. Go ahead. <laughs> Hopefully, because I've been Keep craving going. some Keep stuff going. lately. <clears throat> so, like, if you are having, like, sweet issues, you're having a lot of, like, sweetness coming up, you want to reach for something, you have to ask yourself, at the moment that you're receiving this, I need sugar in my life, whether that's fruit sugar or, like, we're talking comfort food sugars, meaning cheesecake and croissants and, and you know, chocolate eclairs or whatever it is for you. If you are craving sweets, the question is for, for me to you, where in your life are you trying to add a little sweetening up? What's going on at the moment you crave the food? Notice it and ask yourself, where am I needing to sweeten up my life? Or is my life sour and it needs you know, some boost? And the reason I'm asking you this is it's something I've been reflecting upon and I want to hear what you all are going through because, you know, we're all going through something right now. We're coming up on this super full moon. It's also a blue moon. It's going to be, you know, like brazen. It's a lunar eclipse at the same time. So like the 31st, which I think is what, next Wednesday, um, you know, this is a time of release. So whatever is bubbling up, and I know a lot of people going through anxiety and frustration and, you know, like my mind was, has been going zzz, 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 zzz but I recognize it and so for me I've been doing a lot of journaling I'm doing this beyond addiction program and it's super powerful for me to to recognize what's coming up and yeah homemade cheesecake doesn't take much Rebecca does it it's like you just take one bite and you're like oh it's so creamy and rich and sweet and satisfying right it like melts on your your, your tongue like butter so, you know, the topic today was um, Ezekiel bread versus bread. So why don't you tell them uh, your experience with uh, the typical standardized bread? Okay, this gets good because I, I'm a bready, I'm a foodie. I had to pass on all of that when I learned about my gluten, my wheat intolerances. I could go and talk and rap on this subject for like ages, but my personal experience, which is all I'll ever, ever share with y'all anyway, is that for me, first off, it turns into a, into a sugar. It's one of those, you know, people say, oh, but it's carbs, it's fiber. It turns into sugar, and it's not as much of a fiber that's beneficial for your body as much as a, a sponge. You know, it creates this inflammation. I, I found I would get bloated and heavy, and I was constipated for all my life. I didn't know that's, that the real root cause was is that my allergy. And what happens in that case is your body creates white blood cells, which creates the inflammation because it's fighting off this foreign invader. This is what my body was going through. And so, yeah, white bread, Wonder Bread, you remember all those little dots on your bread? Uh, let's see. Um, my mom and, would actually try to get wheat bread, whole wheat bread, and the white bread was like the treat. But to be totally honest with you, I was one of those kids, if my mom told me something was healthy, I would love it. I would just, I'd embrace it because I personally really, really wanted to live a, a healthy life from the time of being a young child. I can't even explain it. And, you know, when it comes to bread, my dad had a pizzeria, y'all. You know, it was all about the sub shop and the pizza, and he made his own dough and bread and, you know, cut it up, and he made the best steak bombs and everything like that. But, like, we would do... Um, peanut butter and jellies are my co comfort food when I was a kid. You know, when I would be going through stuff, I would just make myself a nice happy strawberry jam with, sometimes it was crunchy. Now, I didn't always like crunchy peanut butter. I liked it creamy, but I did end up liking both as time went on. And I could easily sit. And when I had my dog Angel, my little lab husky, she was 17 when she passed away. And that was about three years ago now. Um, that was like, I would sit there and enjoy the, 
you know, I had a chase lounge with my love seat and I'd have her sitting on my the bed the the chase lounge with me and I would share my peanut butter and jelly sandwich with my dog. And she loved it. You know, like she had this spoiled puppy life too. But the things that I, I realized eating that kind of food, looking back after learning I'm allergic to it, I had the running nose. But see, I also had this, <clears throat> my mom reminded me that I always had this, this trickle down the back of my throat that caused me to have this, this, this ticking cough, a, you know, a cough, a tick, you know, or the sniff too much. And see what bread is, it truly turns into an unhealthy sugar in your bloodstream. And I, I don't know, I, I went through the phase personally where I thought, well, if I buy it sprouted, it's better. So there was Ezekiel and there were a couple other brands out there that I tried. I mean, everybody knows Ezekiel because I think they've got the most attention. But there were some other brands too. And so I thought, well, let me try the sprouted. And I'll be honest, it did not help. In fact, it was no better in my, my experience for my belly. My belly was still getting bloated. I was still experiencing constipation. It was still causing inflammation, sleepy eyes, you know, what they call brain fog or gut, wheat belly. And see, Rebecca, asthma, that is actually one of the causes, is the, the gluten and the, and, and the dairy can cause the asthma. I've read so much on that. That's, yeah. And but, but how many of us are, are willing to look at our body's conditions and associate it with the foods we're putting in us? Because you are what you eat. And there's that's what they've said for ages, but nobody's ever actually stopped and thought about it and applied it, have they? I certainly didn't. So going through my experience, at least all I know, because that's all I know, is that, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was like going, oh my gosh. Now I get it. Now I know what my body was trying to tell me all those years. And, you know, you can only know what you know, as I've found in my life, that when I had those epiphanies and the realizations, I'm like, it's like it all clicked. I see all the stuff I was going through, and then I'm going, wow, okay. And it was kind of like you had, I had to go through this process of, of like death. You know, when, when you, when change happens in your life, you have to honor the the, the, the releasing of one thing so you can allow the arrival of something new because it, because death is a process of mourning what it is you've always known and so I had to go through this process of now what am I going to eat you know just like if you only eat whole foods plant-based um, it's the same thing you have to make adjustments you have to change your perception you have to change all this um, know what you know to what you're gonna know you know you have to be open and available to whatever's meant to come in. Because I personally feel like the whole food allergy turned into a guidance system of my life. You know, I feel in my peer, you know, what's happened is if I had known sooner, of course I would have done better, but because I found out when I did, it allowed me to be open to a new path in my entire life. I lived in Naples, Italy, people. I mean, between the pasta, which, you know, I could say, oh, I didn't have a problem, but when I look at how I, my body was, I had tons of problems, and I've always had problems. And not only that, but like wheatgrass makes me deathly ill, so it's not something I, I even play with, and it, it, it's gotten progressively worse. So yeah, it's, um, it's all an experience. Do you all wanna see Lana and I play in the kitchen? Give us some hearts. I want to play in the so kitchen. we'll go live for about two hours, y'all, on uh, the Facebook page. So slide over there. We'll go live in about probably a half hour, all right? And we're going to go live, have fun, probably see some buddy uh, playing in there with us. But uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for, for playing in here. She just got back. <laughs> and uh, again, that, that's just our journey with uh, bread versus Ezekiel bread. Again, you might operate on uh, just air and white wonder bread. Good for you. If you live 169 and you're pissing glitter and smell like peaches, maybe I should uh, try your protocol. But uh, anyways, thank you for joining. Do you have anything to say? My favorite bread, y'all, was always raisin bread. Ooh, yeah. That toasted with butter, with butter <sighs> crispy, crunchy. If there's one thing I could have back, it would be raisin bread because I loved toasted raisin bread. Me too. Ah. You know what would not be cool is if you burned it. You burnt it in the toaster. It's like, oh. And they're done that, haven't you? Who hasn't, right? All right, you do a left spin boom. Are you going to be? I'm going to do that. Boom. All right, I'll slide what, it for you and do one.
Come over here. Oh, you're gonna make. <laughs> Love you all. Thank you so much for joining us. You can start over there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna slide back in here one more time. All right, come play with us in the kitchen, y'all. It's Friday night, all right? If, uh, you know, you're used to going out and smoking cigarettes on the porch deck and, uh, you know, uh, doing bad things, take a break from that tonight. I know that stuff is a lot of fun, trust me. I'm an expert. I just choose not to do that stuff. So, instead, try something different tonight. Maybe, uh, you know, play with us in the kitchen. You need to try one of these recipes, right? Go draw a bath. Meditate, right? Get organized. Go throw a whole bunch of stuff out that's in your house that's taking your energy and space, all right? It's never too late for an optimal reset. You all ninja flip over to the page in 20 minutes and uh, we're going to play. And make sure, all 42 of you, pretty pleased with the cherry on top, make sure you click like, you like the Facebook page, and then you hit, you hit follow, and then you hit see first, okay? And then you'll see us, all right? I'm going to slide up here. Love spin boom. Get up and do it with me. Come on, you can get up. I know you put your phone like over here and do a love spin boom with me. All right, here we go. Boom! What, what?